Are you um are you representing Michelle Bachman today? Uh, I'm a volunteer, uh -huh. but I'm ultimately helping here, yes. Yeah. It's kinda loud in here, so if you could speak a little yes. louder. Oh, we well, that'd be great. A little bit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm a, I'm a volunteer for Michelle Bachman. What are, what are we looking at issues tonight? Are we going to talk about health care anymore? Or is this focusing away now tonight? Darn, I wish I had my email in front of me. Uh, well, with see, Ron uh, Paul, you think the budget's coming up or the uh, yes, audit? Yes, I, I think so. I think so. I think he's probably going to focus on his tip, more typical themes. Uh, fiscal responsibility. I think they're going to be talking about uh, uh, what, why they shouldn't have uh, health care reform as Obama would prescribe. Uh, the president. Uh, yeah. I, I, Do you feel like they're going into the lion's den at all here at the U of M? Oh, most certainly. Really? I, my, for myself personally, I'm individually nervous. <laughs> I had that feeling a couple times this year myself, but I'd like to say that I'm, I don't encourage it in anyone. <laughs> yeah. No, I not. Well, you know, it's, I, you know, people should, di you know, disagree. Indeed. People are welcome to disagree, but obviously they need to disagree, re reasonably disagree. I mean, as much as I often dislike the left-wing viewpoint, uh, and even if they make me nervous, I, in the end, they have their own their right to express it. I think oftentimes either side doesn't really understand the other. Can you explain to them what scares you about it? Oh, well, I mean, take this with a grain of salt. I mean, as a, as a Christian conservative, I, I tend to, when I think of the archetype left-wing liberal, the thing I guess that probably bothers me is that you, there's certain characteristics you tend to see. That, that So many of them are atheists. Uh, God is almost not part of their life at all. Or they make a prescription about it, but they don't, you know, that kind of thing. It's like their, their, their value system is based on, how would you say, sand. You know, there's not there's nothing uh -huh. to stand on except what a human being said. You know, and uh, and you think God and government are intertwined? Well, there's no doubt that people attempt to do so. Um, I, I think that uh, people um, try to find uh, intertwining where it doesn't exist. Um, Help me with your questions. No, I think I can, that's good. Because obviously I'm with camera. We're so going. We're nervous. going. We're. I had no plans, in fact. Yeah, I'll just gonna, admit it right gonna, there. You're going to script it when you're done. So no, I mean, no, I'm going to actually put it up uncut. Good parts, you know? <laughs> I'd like to put it up as uncut as possible. Okay, okay. In fact, I'd like to go where I'm going where I don't know either on this. But I'm trying to well, think, I'll, too. I'll, I'll I can say this to myself. Mm -hmm. yes. um, I, can, I was brought up Lutheran. Yeah. And I actually can, can't say I have some really different opinions these days. Mm -hmm. But I think there are really strong traces of it that I can go back to even like five years old and think that I got some concepts there. Yeah. What are early concepts for you that from religion that you think carry over into your thinking about politics? Anything like for... Um, well, a uh, sense of, of legacy that you, you trying to leave things better than they, than they started, uh, that your actions should, you know, because you're responsible to God ultimately in the end, that you're going to be judged in the end for your actions. And that it keeps life, you honest. Life does, yes, it does. <laughs> it, it, on, on several levels, uh, you know that uh, you're going to answer for your, you know, sins, re, re, you know, real or imagined, and uh, and things. And uh, so, I, you know, it, it guides my actions, you know, on, on that. I think you're really sincere, and I think many people are. I, I come from uh, many friends on the left, and I don't think that they understand that I how sincere you are. I think both sides are sincere, yeah. and they're and they're well, both are worried right now. I, I, think, I think there's no doubt. I mean, I I've at my best when I've talked to liberals, and I use the term pejoratively liberals mm -hmm. because it covers a lot of ground. Uh, that many of them are well intentioned, and I don't I don't deny their. Um, their uh, intent to help people, but the, maybe, uh, how do I say, the law of unintended consequences is a, something that comes to mind when I think sometimes of when, like, I'll give you, a, for instance, uh, you know, uh, our, our, our two U.S. Senators, uh, Klobuchar and Franken, you know, I'm, I'm sure they really do care about people, but, you know, when you think about what they stand for and then what the final outcome is, I mean, it's years down the road. It's like, are you really helping somebody or are you putting them in a box? 
you know, I mean, a great example of this is the, the welfare system. I mean, that as a Christian, of course, you help the poor. And, and, and how would you like to modify it from where it is right now? Well, I think that the, I think I think the underlying assumption should be that you know, you if you want help, that you have to work. And uh, you know, the Bible is the, the you know uh, the Bible. There's a famous statement by uh, uh, John Smith or Miles Standish said at that Jamestown that if you don't work, you won't eat. Well, he didn't make that up. I mean, that was from the Bible, you know, and, and things. And I think, you know, I have all the pity in the world for those that can't help themselves. But at the same time, if you have a, a political system, a welfare system that encourages people to not work and then and, 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 and gets them deeper into their problem, you know, I mean, a lot of times, a single mother who their single mothers that you know get pregnant, they they see what the benefit is. They see that they're not. It's not their benefit to get married. That they'll have a second kid to get more money. I mean, we know there's documented cases, thousands of cases of this, and you know that's. I guess that's a you know that's kind of a knee jerk reaction, kind of quick thumb thumbnail analysis. But that's you know short of sitting down at you know on a table hey. and talking. But.